Well, a former Mexican politician has a novel idea to keep his countrymen from being deported back to the homeland. Just ruin the American court system. Jorge Castaneda was once Minister of Foreign Affairs for Mexico's government under Vicente Fox. He's also a professor at NYU and a board member for Human Rights Watch. He recently called on the Mexican government to fund lawyers who will clog up the U.S. immigration courts as much as possible intentionally in order to prevent deportations back to Mexico. Castaneda has also denounced a wall on the Mexican border, saying that if President Trump persists in building it, Mexico should allow terrorists to enter this country freely in retaliation. Jorge Castaneda joins us tonight. Jorge, thanks all for coming on. So I, I want Thank to you for having you me. a really for our viewers who haven't seen this, this is a quote from a couple of weeks ago, you to the New York Times, and you said this, Mexico must say clearly that we will encourage all potential deportees to demand a hearing upon arrest and to refuse voluntary removal, that we will provide legal support on our dime for all arrested undocumented workers, and that we will deny entry to anyone whom Mexico, American authorities cannot prove is a Mexican national. This seems like a change. When did the Mexican government develop this concern for due process? Well, it's not the Mexican government. I am not a government official. I left the government 14 years ago, and I speak only for myself. I have always been a firm okay. believer in due process in Mexico and everywhere in the world. And consequently, I think that this is one of the most admirable things the U.S. has, and Mexico should use it. I don't recall the United States letting people in who, are not, who do not prove that they are American. Well, I don't want the U.S. to deport anybody to Mexico who the U.S. cannot prove is Mexican. And yes, I want to use as much as possible the U.S. judicial system, the court system, and in particular immigration courts and judges to ja jam the system, to backlog it so much that perhaps President Trump will change his mind and stop this ridiculous, uh, unpleasant, hostile policy of deporting people. Today, he even, they even uh, arrested a fellow, a young dreamer in Seattle, Ricardo Ramirez Medina, a 23-year-old who is in the U.S. legally, who has a work permit to work legally. They went after his father, and they got well, him, too, let him, even though they'll, he they'll has a go. written promise. Well, I don't so know if they'll let him go. They, for the moment, they haven't arrested him. So, yes, I yeah. want to use the well, U.S. Well, living in Mexico, I, I, presumably you're used to injustices in the justice yes. system. But let me ask you, so you're suggesting, look, as a foreign national, you're suggesting destroying our legal system because you don't think the U.S. government has the right, as the president has stated, to deport people who've been convicted of felonies. And you're saying that they should resist. Well, I, can't, I wouldn't be destroying it. How, how can I suggest destroying it if what by, I'm saying by is By gumming it up, it. by making it using unworkable. Using it is not destroying it. It's you, well, well, of course it making is. it unworkable. If that's I pour your sugar problem. in your gas tank, you can I hire your more judges. I want to stop people from being deported from the United States. Absolutely. Okay. And the best so way to even do it is to US, use the U.S. legal system, the, the justice system. Absolutely. To commit sabotage it's an upon admirable legal system. justice system. Yeah. It's okay. a way of sabotaging and, and you, the legal and, system. And you would, you would, you would take advantage of it. You would destroy sabotaging. it. Okay. No, so I let me just ask you I want to sabotage it so it can't be used. Okay, I think one of the uh, undercovered sabotage, parts of this debate term. is the motive of the Mexican Pardon ruling me? class, of which you're a member, you went to Princeton, in all, the motive of the Mexican ruling class in wanting to keep some very large, uh, unknown number, but over 10 million illegal immigrants in the United States rather than Mexico. Now, half of your country lives in poverty. Your, the tax rates on rich people in Mexico are the lowest in the region. My question to you is, rather than destroying our legal system, have you, have you paused a minute to think, well, why are all these people leaving my country to go to the country next door? Maybe we should spend some time and, like, build a social safety net rather than offloading the costs onto the American middle class. Has that occurred to you? No. No, it's occurred to me, and I don't agree with you at all on that, Mr. Tucker. I think the real issue here is that these are people who have been living on many occasions in the United States for 10 years, 20 years. They don't have papers. They may have entered without uh, papers, but they are there. They have children who are American citizens. In many cases, they are married to American citizens. They are law-abiding, hard-working people, and they have, there is no reason to deport them. You want to deport the criminals? Fine, but make sure they're really criminals, not just people but that all of a sudden, President okay, Trump but, but has you're, you're actually dodging my question, which is of being criminals. No, I'm not. Dodging why are they? I, those people? No, yes, you are. Because, and have set down the, roots in the United States. They're there but, already. But why? We can talk okay, about. Lead, why did we can they talk about okay. what happens with future flows? You should. You should. Okay. What you should do you is legalize are, those. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me ask. Let me ask my question. If you would. 
Right. I, I get it. The filibuster thing. But, but this is a sincere question. So a, a huge That's percentage of your filibuster. population has left. I'm, I'm stating has my left. viewpoint. I'm not just answering your okay. questions. But why not? So you want to spend all this ahead, money to gum up and sabotage our legal system. Why wouldn't you spend money instead? Uh, and maybe, maybe you could pay some more taxes to do this, because rich people in Mexico, and you're one of them, pay very little in tax, to build a social safety net that no. might keep people in Mexico. Half your population is in poverty, and yet you're spending money to keep them here. We're the pressure relief valve for your country. Do you feel Not good about that? Not to keep them there. That's where they. That's where they live, where they work, where because they Because your have country children, is dysfunctional. Where that's they are why. married. That's why. And by the way, I pay taxes right, okay. in both. I pay taxes in both countries. So believe me, I pay. Well, a you hell pay of a less taxes in Mexico. I have to pay in Mexico and in the U.S., which is fine. That's okay. the way it should be. No problem with but, that. But, but hold like, on. Like by the way, all of my my compatriots who are in the U.S also pay U.S. taxes. That's something you and your network don't often mention. Mexicans, okay. with or without papers in the U.S., pay taxes, okay. and very high taxes. But it's still, now, but look, there's been yes, a lot of study on this, President and you, you, you're a college professor. Okay. I'm not going to shout over you, but look, remittances to Mexico are now a more significant portion of your economy than oil revenue. So actually, you need, Mexico needs the money from the over 10 million Mexicans living here illegally in order to function as a state. And my question again is, well, have you let, spent any well, time thinking you, about how to improve your own country your, that people won't want to flee as economic refugees? Let me just straighten out your, your numbers. So let me just straighten out your numbers to begin with. There's about 5.8 million Mexicans without papers. And there's another 6 million with papers who are legal residents of the United States. So it's not 10 million. That's it's untrue. Under that's, first of all, that's untrue. Secondly, those are the that's official wrong. U.S. Census Bureau. Those are official U.S. Census Bureau No, they're not. Bureau Whatever. Okay, figures, but, but and you you're not answering the oh, court yes, question. They are. Absolutely, they are. The okay. second part okay. of your, your, also, your numbers are also wrong on the issue of how important remittances are. They're very important to many Mexican families, but $27 billion over a GDP of $1.5 trillion, I'm sorry, is about 3% of total Mexican GDP. But you it's don't have to pay the social small. services costs not of over 10 million people. Poor people who've left your country. Look, yes or no, and we'll stop in with this. Case, has in many has case, this the social debate, services are paid oh, for in many cases also. They are okay. also paid but for have in many you cases thought about because their families are in why? Mexico. Their families, okay. their children up. sometimes right. are in Mexico Maybe this also. works. All right. Thanks. I appreciate it. I, I urge you to think about that, though.